Hi, I'm Sally Breckenridge and I'm going to take a break from my weaving to do a series of videos on Weave It Pro for Windows. The videos for my other apps, Weave It Pro for Mac and I Weave It for iPad and Android, have been very popular and I've had a lot of requests to do one for Windows. The Windows version is quite extensive and has many features, so it will probably take quite a few videos to cover all the topics. To get started, the first video will be on the interactive tutorial, basic overview of Weave-It, and some of the basic editing techniques. Let's get started. When you start Weave-It Pro for Windows, you will see an interactive tutorial. Interactive means that you read the text and follow the directions and you can do the tutorial. I won't read the first part, but I will tell you what to do. To start a tutorial, click on a checkbox and it takes you to the tutorial and it tells you what you should be doing. One, set the number of shafts and treadles. You will find this dialog on the project menu. In this case we have four and six treadles. We'll change this to four and four. We're using treadles we could use lift plan. We can also set the treadles and the shafts to be the default. That would mean that when you started a new pattern, you would get those. Click OK to finish that step. Click on the next step to create the threading. The threading dialog is found on the edit menu. To create, pick a color in the color drop down. This is for the left mouse button. This one is for the right mouse button. Mark mode means you will just check a spot. So if I just go over and I click on a square it will do select mode. You click down and drag your cursor to make a selection. After you've made the selection, you can see the actions that you can take on the menu. If you click on the right mouse button, I guess it works. You have to click pick a color here. So let's pick pink. If we go back to mo this one, then we can pick the blue and use the right mouse button to put a blue there. When you are finished with the threading, click OK. Then we will create the treadling. The treadling is the same as the threading pick our color. Let's pick a dark blue and we'll just do a point. Pick OK. Next we will do the tie-up. The tie-up operates the same way. You can click on different squares to create a simple twill tie-up or you can pick one of the different choices that you have. Let's try a uh, two, two left twill and it will create it. We can try a two two right twill and it created it for us. Pick OK. Now I will step out of the tutorial. You'll notice that you have all these check boxes. If you don't want to display the tutorial when you start 
uh, weave it, you just check this box and it won't display again. If you want to go back later and show these checks, these checks tell you which tutorial you have completed. And you can come back and start to the next one and continue on, or you can reset them if you want to repeat them. Even if you've checked them, you can repeat them. Like if I check this one and I go there, you'll see that it has checked it. Done. We're now looking at the main view of Weave It Pro. And you'll see if you look at the bottom along the status bar, you see the last action that you did. You see that you're in view mode. You see that you're using a balanced weave. You're looking at the front. You have using the treadle view, not the lift plan. You have four shafts and four treadles. You have seven warp threads and six weft threads in your draft. Now, if you look at it, you see that the draft has been repeated multiple times. If you go over to these icons at the top of the bar and hold the mouse over them, you can see what they do. This fourth one over here says, show one repeat of the pattern. So if I click on it, I see only one repeat. These two icons are for zooming, so I can make it bigger or smaller. This one says redraw the screen display. That just redraws it. Sometimes when you do an action, it gets kind of messed up, so you want to redraw it. If we look at the menu over here, you see that you can edit the tie-up. That's one of the ones we did. Edit the threading, edit the treadling. Edit in view means that you can do the same editing in the main view of the program. So this looks just like that. These actions are the same as you saw in the dialogue, but you can do them on the main screen. So let's add some more threads. The yarn here, let's go over to this green color and we'll put in some more picks. Well, I guess these are warps, not picks. So we've added in more picks, more warps. <laughs> and over here we added in You'll see that as you move around on the main view, up here it tells you which section you're editing. So if I move here, I'm editing the treadle. If I move here, I'm editing the threading. If I move here, I'm editing the tie-up. If I move into the middle, I'm editing the drawdown. The only thing you can do in the drawdown is a mark. And what happens if you do a mark is you click on the square and it toggles the tie up. So I click here and I look up and I toggled the tie up. If you do a selection and you go over and select some threads here, then you can do various operations and things, actions on it. We can with this selection, we can cut, copy, insert, advance, flip, fur, and wrap. So I'm going to do a flip. So it just flipped it to the horizontal direction. This flips it to the vertical direction. This one wraps it around. You can also copy it. If you select at the very end or somewhere, it inserts in front. So let's see, let's put it right there. And we pick paste and it put those three threads in there. It's a good way to get a very confusing looking drawdown, but at least you're learning how to use the program. Third thing that you can do here, we'll look at this line just quickly. It draws a line. So if I Go over here and I start 
let's say here, and I just pull it out here and I drag my mouse till I lift it up, it created a line. I can do that up here too in the threading. I can even do that in the treadling. So let's, well, if I just click on one scare, then I get back to my tutu twill, which looks better. Look at the tie up. You can see that the actions over here changed a bit. And one of the things you can do on a tie up is invert it. So we'll invert it. And now you're looking at the other side. Okay, so this icon here says edit the pattern in main view. You can edit the pattern, you can click on that and that puts you back into the main view where you can resize it, just show the one repeat of it, show the back side of it. If you look carefully, you can see the little lines in between each of the threads. That's called the interlacement view. You can click it on, you can click it off. If you look at the view menu, you will see all the things that we just did. Show the drawdown. We're looking at the drawdown. We will do the other actions or the other views in a different video. Here you can set the view setting. You can show it smaller or larger. Here you can show one pattern repeat or multiple patterns. You can show the back side, cloth interlacement, just the threading and the treadling, structure only. So in this case, if I pick that one, I see the structure, but I don't see any of the colors. In some patterns and drafts, that is a useful thing. You can turn it to lift plan. If you turn it to lift plan, then when you're ready to print your pattern and start weaving on a table loom, it's really helpful because then you can see just the shafts that you need to lift, three, four, and do it. But we'll go back to the treadling, unclick that. Okay, so that's the view menu also want to show you help. Here is where you would go back to your tutorial. Here is the contents of the online or the, the interactive help. This help is mainly aimed at telling you how each of the menu options work. The document is more aimed at the concepts of how to use them and how they work. So both are useful. The last thing here to look at is your Weave It Pro About dialog, and it shows the version of Weave It Pro that you're working on. I'm working on version 7.06 here. If you periodically go back to where you logged in on Weave It website, then you can check if there is a new version of Weavit available. If you reinstall, it doesn't delete any files that you've created. I hope this first video helped you get started for Weavit Pro for Windows. There will be quite a few more videos, so I suggest you subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified when they become available. To learn more about Weavit Pro for Windows, Go to the website www.weaveit.com and check out all the features. You can also purchase it online on that site. Thank you. See you at the next video.